Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. And today I have, well, as you can probably see, five. Oh, there's six. Wow, where'd that other one come from? Six Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filters to take a look at. All used, of course, and probably used well. Some of them don't look so good. But, hey, the insides could look great. We don't know how these were stored. So these are just random, out of the bin, used oil filters I'm checking out. Uh, next week I'll have actually some information on a couple of oil filters. I'm still waiting on two that should be here within the week. And I will have, uh, I think it's five, might be six, not sure. Uh, oil filters that I have all the information on like I usually do on some and I will be opening those up and showing you with uh, however mileage they got or whatever vehicle they're in and the engines and all that but yeah these ones don't know anything about them so these ones are just oil filters that I found in the bin that uh, I'm taking a look at so the first one here uh, looks pretty good actually. That's not too bad. And of course the silicone. Uh, I don't know why I like saying silicone. Man, it's just kind of fun, isn't it? Uh, come on. Uh, this one's got a dent in it there. So, uh, come on. Okay, I might have to get a tool. You know what? I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to get a tool. That's not a tool. That's not a tool. There is a tool. So I'm not going to pause it because I'm wearing gloves that don't like to pause. So I can get this out there. There we go. Hey, good old screwdriver to the rescue. So you see down in the cup here, it's not too bad. Hopefully you can see that. Hmm. My light. Some of my lights went out up here. Uh, oh, what is this, anyways? A 3980. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't have a bypass. So, uh, this one is very well used, as we can tell. It's pretty swollen. Wow. Um, hmm. Well, it looks good. Uh, these are usually, actually, I, I have used a lot of ultra synthetics in my day. I just got to say I have. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm not going to say it. I, I'm just going to say it, you know. I think they're pretty good. And the older ones are better than these newer ones. But I think they're still half decent. And uh, well worth a... Uh... Oh, this is one of the older ones. All right, I ain't cutting it because that's just a metal cage in there. So this is an older one with the metal cage, but you can see this one is well used. You can already see metal on that piece there. So I'm not going to cut it apart or I'll dull my knife up, and I don't want to do that. But maybe I can... Ah, oh, this is... It, it is... This is coming apart. So this metal cage, I don't want to cut it apart. But you can see, this one's well used. That one's kind of just pulling apart in here. Like, it's kind of crazy. But, yeah, that happens, doesn't it? Let's see here. I don't know. Come on. Come on. Nope, not going to get it. Not with gloves on. Uh, I think this one's a 39. So this one's a 3982. This one's kind of cruddier looking on this side, but I don't know. Maybe that was there from being stored somewhere where dirt got on it. But the inside looks kind of crappy too. So, can't wait to check that out. Oh, is this one the same? Oh, it was crunched also. Darn. Hey, let's see. Let's see if we can get this one out. Yes, we can. Screwdriver, oil, really dirty in this one too. So these are just randoms. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on in there, but up inside this filter, 
kind of it could have fallen in from uh, from the top here as you can see but it probably did fall in you know what this feels like it feels like uh, uh, oil uh, absorbable oil absorbable so it's probably oil absorbable up in there so great stuff and this one also is probably an older one with the metal cage. What's the date stamps on these? Uh, A10221. So uh, these ones, yeah, this one, because the newer ones don't have these cages in them anymore. And this one also, <laughs> the filter is pulling apart very easily. But as you can see, it did stay together and do its job. <laughs> so, you know what, this dirty one, this dirty one sitting somewhere, dirt was getting inside of it, obviously. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is the, I don't know, don't know what this came out of. It's a 10 XG10060. It looks pretty nasty. So, I don't know, let's take... Oh yeah, this one's completely plugged. Completely plugged up. Wow, what was this one in? And there's a bunch of water or antifreeze in it. Yeah, it smells like antifreeze and oil mixed together. Uh, and you see the color of this oil. This one could have been a head gasket blow. So it looks like maybe they drove on it a while. And mixing with the oil and antifreeze, uh, that's probably not good. That isn't good, by the way. But this one's kind of a, a failure of a type because you get it mixing with the antifreeze and everything, and they plug up fast. And it turns that oil into whatever this goop, this goop is coming out of here. That's, that's terrible. I don't even want to deal with this one anymore. <laughs> this one's cutting very easily. Oh yeah, it's it's kind of gross. Uh, all I smell is antifreeze and oil. And yeah, this one had a very serious problem in the engine, I see. But this is like the newer type here that don't have that metal cage. So, oh. Look at this, wow. Look at that paste. It's got paste, it turned to paste. Okay, I'm, I'm done with that one. That one's gross. It's sticky, it's stinky, oh, it stinks. Okay, enough of that one. What do we got here? And this is a uh, XG9680. Okay, oh, here we go. This one looks okay. That's not too bad. That's That oil looks like it's a synthetic type of oil in there, it looks like. Uh, silicone looks okay. Why are you stuck? Oh, you're crunched too. And I picked these out of two different drums in there. And it's kind of weird that all of these are getting crunched. Oh, maybe it's because the Fram here doesn't have thick enough uh, cases to withstand. Um, yeah, I know, it's probably true, they don't, but it's, it's not too bad. Come on, there we go, we got her. But it's very clean in there, looks very nice. And this filter, and there's that. This filter looks very good, actually. A little wider here, but you know, this one does look very nice. I am in... I'm impressed by this one. This one looks like it was done at the proper oil change. So it doesn't look too bad. So let's give her a quick cut here. By the way, on my hand here, yesterday right here is a big band-aid, and on here is a big band-aid. I slipped myself to the bone on this one yesterday, working on my wife's Jeep. And at the same time under the Jeep, this one got slid open too. I don't know what did it sharp piece of metal under there doing the starter on her jeep but 
I, I don't have much movement in this hand today, <laughs> so I'm trying my best here not to wince in pain. Hopefully you don't see my face. And yeah, it was uh, something that I didn't want to uh, put up with. This filter feels nice and tough still. Still, still got some life in it. This one might have been able to go a bit farther. Because this one still feels really nice. So, let's get a hold of this. Uh, there's metal flake in here though. Pretty, pretty good amount of metal flake. You can see that piece probably right over here where the end of my thumb is glistening. You can see it there. Yeah. This has got lots of that metal flake all the way through, so eh, mostly. Uh, who knows? Maybe they switched to this type of filter to try to help them filter out the metal. I don't know. But it's working. It's filtering. Uh, what is this one? Oh, wow. It's another one of those 10060s. Oh, okay. And this one. Oil is dark. Mm, no, it's probably synthetic. I'm not sure though. Well, this one. Oh, no, me. No, this does not look like synthetic oil. Why would they use such a nice filter if they were going to use uh, conventional oil? Hmm. Maybe they just like having a nice filter. These. These always fit on very nice and tight. The anti drain backs. But this one, oh, yeah, it's it might be a sad case of being in there a little too long, I think. Just because you have a, a good oil filter doesn't mean you can neglect your oil changes. Or hey, do whatever you like. Not my vehicle, well, but it is one that I may buy in the future. So please change your oil. <sighs> I'm gonna cut it halfway through because my hand is sore. It's hurting my hand doing that, so I'm only gonna go a little bit through. Uh, don't see metal flake. No metal flake, but hmm, it looks fine to me. This one, that one looks fine, and we get to the sixth one. And what is the number? Uh, it's another 90, what is that, 98, 60, uh, XG 6886, or I think that's it. There we go, this one looks clean. And that golden color says it was synthetic oil, because it does have a different pigment than conventional when it's been in a vehicle. There we go. Yes, it has a golden kind of like pigment to it, or you can just tell it's got a reddish golden type of pigment. And this one looks very good too, and uh, this one ain't too bad. This one also does look like synthetic, like I said. And, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna cut them all the way here because. And yes, I blame my wife for my injury. So there. Hope you're hearing that, my de my dear wife. Working on your Jeep. Even though, though I wouldn't have wanted her to cut her hand. So I'll take the injury for my wife. No problem. But let's see what we got here. Feels pretty slick. Don't feel any any uh, metal. This one looks like it did a great job too. Actually, all of these look like they they did their job. And now I got a pile of oil filters here. I'm gonna go back to the oil recovery. Well, that's all of these ones and. I gotta stop doing these uh, ultra synthetics. I never really find too many things wrong with them. They always do a good job. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and yes, 
I'll bring you another awesome one next week. Oh, gotta take my glove off. I can't shut her down. Oh, there we go. There's my glove. <laughs>